Well, hello, sports fans. So, tonight, you're in for a special treat. I'm going to teach you how to roast uh, hatch green chilies. They're basically Anaheim chilies, except these are from Hatch, New Mexico. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put them in a, a pan, shallow cooking type pan. For my recipe, I only need four of them. That's all I bought for tonight. We're going to roast them in the top shelf of the, our oven at 500 degrees for six to seven minutes. The skin will start to bubble and um, char. We'll pull them out. We'll flip them. And we'll do the same to the other side. Then we'll take them out and we'll put them in a, um, a storage container with a lid and snap it on real tight and as they cool all that moisture is going to cause the exterior of the skin to peel away it makes it really really easy to uh to clean them I'll... all right can you hear them popping all right so we're taking them out after eight minutes and we're gonna turn them do not use your fingers back in for another six to eight minutes all right there they are listen to them sizzle all right so what we're going to do now is we are going to take them just as they are we're going to throw them in this tupperware right here we're going to put a lid on it and close it up nice and tight to capture any of the moisture escaping well, I figured since I was at it and I'm waiting on the hatch chilies to go. We're going to take these five cloves of garlic, throw them in there. Now we're going to add some other stuff, so we'll see you in a minute. All right, now I get these. These are Don Lupe sliced jalapenos. Add the whole can of jalapenos and about half of the can of uh, the juice. So we'll see you in a minute. Oh, right here. Let me tell you, buy one of these. It's amazing. All right. So jalapenos have been added to our garlic and we're waiting uh, about another 10 minutes for the hatch chilies to be ready then we'll throw them in there too all right so our hatch chilies are done do a couple of things first we're going to see if we can oh look at that see how it just separated right from the skin that's what you want that's why we put it in the uh, tupperware to let it uh, that moisture work its little magic between the layers all right so we'll cut the stem off we want those seeds out unless you want all the heat which we don't I mean we got enough jalapenos so you just move them to one end just like that Now, we're gonna throw those in our um, food processor with the jalapenos. It has All right, look at that. So that is gonna be our full can of jalapenos four hatch chilies, half the can of juice, five cloves of garlic. We're gonna throw that bad boy in the food processor, get it down to a salsa, and you'll see the magic. Oh, look at that. I cannot even tell you how amazing that smells. All right, here we go. So we've got our slow, co slow cooking crock pot. We are going to add two 
cups, chicken broth, one cup of, oh, can you guess what that is? That's called tequila. We're going to add the contents of our blender as I've outlined before. Now, we're gonna throw a little quick stir on all of that before we even turn the heat on. We're gonna add two tablespoons. Black pepper. And about half of that of coarse ground sea salt. You can modify it as needed after you're done cooking, but that's the rock and roll version right there. So we're going to add three full size chicken breasts. Oh, look at that. Uh, let's see, three chicken breasts right at three pounds, so about a pound each. So now we've got that added in. <coughs> We're going to add in three stalks of celery and one whole medium onion. All right, we've now added six cups of water, H2O. We're going to put this on an eight hour burn on slow, low. We're just going to let it work its magic, all those flavors that we've added. So we're going to put our lid on. And that tells you how I cook right there. Chili peppers on everything. All right. So um, right at eight and a half, almost nine hours later, I have taken the chicken out, the breasts. Put them into a bowl. I'm going to let them cool down a little bit and shred them up with a fork and then I'll throw all the meat back in. So see you in a second. This is just the easiest method that I have found for doing it. Two forks. Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is we are going to Add in a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to rinse that out with its own wonderful broth. Bar of cream cheese. I like my soups um, cream of. Now you could have just thrown it. <clears throat> throwing the chicken back in and been done with it and had a really good soup but I really like creamy soups so we're going to plate that out I'm going to show you how we do that with a little cilantro finished product a little bit of cilantro it's wonderful alright guys thank you very much